a thought process. Read with me the book of Numbers, chapter 13. If you read the whole story, it is a story more than sending 12 spies to the land of Canaan to explore. We know this story very, very, very well. And I'll read from verse 30. Caleb told the people to be quiet and to listen to Moses. And Caleb said, Let's go now and take possession of the land. We should be more than able to conquer it. People of God, there are 12 tribes, and from every tribe, a person is selected to send to explore the law, a land the Lord has given unto them, and more the sends 12 spice, uh, spice here, uh, into that. And they come back and give a report to Moses. And out of that 12, two people are saying one thing, and 10 people are saying one thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Can I hear one? Amen. And everybody saw the same thing, and everybody moved the same places, and everybody experienced the same blessing there, and everybody is the same what they have seen, what they experienced, what they have touched, what they have felt, what they have heard, what they understood. Am I right? But when the report comes, two people's report is contrary to ten people's report. This is where the thought process. Hallelujah. Now, what the ten, two people, Caleb and Joshua says, because the land they're exploring is a wonderful land, flowing with milk and honey, but at the same time, the giants are there, the Anakites are there, the strong men are there. And you know what the people are saying? The thought process, the ten tribe, the ten heads of the tribe, the ten people giving the report to Moses, hey, they are huge and heavy, and we are like a grasshoppers before them. Thought process. May God speak to you this morning. What is your thought process when it comes to the promise of God? What is your thought process when you come to understand the word of God? When you come to understand the blessings of God? What is your thought process? And 12 people, two are saying, hey, we can win the people. And the 10 people are saying, no, we cannot. We are nothing before them. We are like grasshoppers. You know what they're spreading? They're spreading the lies. They're spreading the deception. Am I reaching you? You are you you you, you the spiritual the spiritual bondage or uh, the spiritual what we are calling the stronghold will develop because you hear the wrong things, you hear the lies of the devil. Amen. Hallelujah. The deception of the devil. We are talking to one brother, and that brother says. My father is always watching the news. Fear, 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 fear. Amen? What you see will change your thought process. What you hear will change the thought process. The same brother said, after watching sometime, I said I changed the channel. After I changed the channel, everything was okay. Amen? Hallelujah. I'm just giving a live example. A thought process. Because when you hear the news, news is always scary. But my Bible says, I am for you, amen, hallelujah. No weapon that forms against you shall prosper. I am here. I make you go through the, you know, every damn thing in your life. God is there, amen, hallelujah. That is what the Bible tells me. What you are hearing? Are you hearing the voices of the world? Or are you hearing the voice of the word of God? That changes your thought process. Glory be to God. People of God. Ten people are saying we cannot do it. And two people say we can do it. And because I, why I'm saying it, the thought process determines the destiny. Oh, hallelujah, may God speak to us. What is the destiny for these people? They're supposed to go into the land of Canaan after the two years of going around the wilderness and about to go because their thought process was so bad and they kept on saying lies to the rest of the people and thereby their destiny is 40 years they're roaming in the wilderness. Am I reaching the church? Your thought process will bring you your destiny. 
They don't need to go for 40 years. We read in the Bible, Israel roamed in the wilderness for 40 years because they are not listening to the voice of God. They did not exercise what God has given unto them. They believe lies. They believe deception. Am I right? People of God, may God change our thought process this morning. Hallelujah.